ArcGIS Pro allows a user to add a grid of horizontal and vertical lines to a map layout to indicate coordinates of locations on the map. This presentation shows how to add different types of grids, including a graticule, which displays coordinates in latitude and longitude, and a measured grid, which displays coordinates from a projected coordinate system. Once we create a new map project in ArcGIS Pro, this is the kind of map that we get. Before we start creating a map grid, we can zoom in to our area of interest, for example, to South Florida. So we go here on the insert and new layout. And there's a couple of templates we can choose from. Uh, I take the letter. And now we need to populate that layout with a map frame. So I can take the previously created one. Okay, so this is now our layout view. And now we're able to add grids. We can see that here under the grid menu, we have a couple of options to add different grids. I will start with a graticule, which is basically showing a grid system of meridians and parallels. So on the right side, we have here some general options. One important option is to turn on or off the automatic adjustment of intervals of grid lines and labels and so on. So if it's turned on, this means that once you zoom in to the map or zoom out the interval, that means how many grid lines or labels are shown, is automatically adopted to the zoom level. So how do we change the zoom level? We need to activate the map and then any change we make is within the map itself. So we can see now that the interval of labels and grid lines adjusts automatically. Once I'm happy with my zoom level, I can close the activation. And then if I want to refine the spacing between grid lines and labels, I can turn off this automatically adjust checkbox. Then we have here the different components where we customize things like the interval or where on the neat lines we want to see the different labels. For now, I want to turn off or remove those ticks in between the labels, so I can just cross those out. And let's assume I want to increase the interval to, let's say, every five minutes for labels and grid lines. I can select both components, change here the interval to five minutes, and now we see that we have more spacing in between. We can also modify the labels along the neat line. Let's say I want to adjust the size to make it bigger. Oftentimes you will use a specific map projection for your project and then you want to overlay your map with this grid line that reflects easting and northing coordinates of this coordinate system. So let's change for now the coordinate system here to let's say the UTM soon 17 which is a very widely used projection. So we need to go on the projected coordinate systems, UTM. We pick the datum, let's say NAD 83, and I pick the soon 70 north, which is valid for most of Florida. We can go on the details and look at the specifications. So we see the central meridian is at 81 degrees western longitude, and the units are in meters. Now, uh, in addition to a graticule, we can add a coordinate grid. So I go here on the grid again, and I'll go on the measured grid, that's the terminology. And I see that by default, the coordinate system is the same as the projection that is used in the map, like in this case, soon 17 north. For now, let's turn off the graticule and customize a little bit our UTM grid. So I can first change the name here to, let's say, UTM soon 17 grid. And to make it more distinct from the graticule, I can change, uh, let's say, the color of the grid lines, I can change the 
color to let's say red and here I can change the dash type and now we see this distinct pattern. Similarly I can change the color of my labels if I want to so I can uh, first increase the size again uh, change the color to red as well and if I feel that there is too many lines crowding the map I can uh, change the interval so I say that I don't want automatically adjust the interval so I uncheck this and now I can pick a different interval to let's say 10,000 meters. I can remove the ticks here if I don't want to see those. Finally I can overlay geographic coordinates with the UTM grid system. So finally I can also store or save the different layouts so I can let's say save this UTM grid as a style UTM soon 17 grid I click OK so if I let's say remove this style and I load the existing one we see that the layout is as the one we saved before.